Hi, and welcome back to TechNet. Today, we're doing our first product review. Stay tuned. So today, we're having a look at the Ubiquiti Air Gateway Pro. It's a small wireless access point that you can purchase for nearly nothing. And as you can see on the back, you will need a power supply, which is not included. So, of course, we got one of those as well. This is a fairly plain box as well. And on the back, there's a schematic showing you how to hook things up. The air gateway comes in a small cardboard box, no fancy packaging, you just have to open the tab and out it comes. You can see the unit is very small and the manual is included with a lot of information on how to get started. On the back is even more information that you will never read. On the front of the device, there's a status LED, and you can see the male RG45 connector. On the back, there's some labels and reset buttons, and inputs and outputs. The power adapter comes in a much larger box. Once again, it's simple packaging, just pull the tab and get your content. There's not much in the box. You get a power cable, in our case with an EU plug, and you get the power adapter itself. No documentation, no nothing. The power adapter is about the same size as the Wi-Fi adapter, and only has the power jack and the input and output. Connecting it all up is really simple, and it only fits one way. Grab the power adapter, and insert the Wi-Fi access point. Grab your power cable, and connect it to the outlet on the power adapter. Connect the other end of the cable to your wall and we're ready to proceed with the setup. The first step of the setup is connecting to the Wi-Fi network called www.ubnt.com. Wait for it to connect. Once the setup is completed, you will get a limited connection. Since the device is not connected to your alarm, this is not a problem. We're going to go ahead and go to 192.168.1.1. We get a certificate error, and as we always do here on TechNut, we're going to ignore it. And you arrive at the login page. Log in with the default username UBNT and this password UBNT. Select your country and accept the license terms. At the first login, you will be greeted by the setup wizard. It will warn us that we don't have an external device connected. And this is okay. So we're just going to proceed with selecting a password for the device. At the next page, we will be specifying our wireless settings. So we're going to use 5 GHz. As you can see, you can't use both of them, which is a major downside, if you ask me. We're going to go ahead and give the network a name. We're calling it TechNut Wi-Fi. And we're going to select a password. We're going to click Next. We'll get a chance to verify our settings. We click Finish, and the device will restart. Once our new network becomes available, just connect to it, enter your passkey, and wait for the connection to complete. And we're back into the Air OS. As you can see, on the wireless tab, we don't have a lot of information, we just have the basic settings that we entered in the wizard. We're gonna leave them as they are, because we're fine with them. If you go into the network settings, there's a bit more to fiddle around with. We're not going to change the VAN settings, 
However, we're going to disable the LAN DHCP since we already have another device handling the DHCP service. The device also has port forwarding, which means you can possibly use this as your primary router if you're fine with only having one port. We're going to change the settings, and as you can see, we get a prompt asking us if we want to apply the settings. This will restart the access point, so we're going to leave this for now. We're going to have a look at the Services tab, and as you can see, there are a lot of features that you can use. We're not going to use any of them at this time, but as you can see, there are lots that you can do. Going over to the System tab, we have a chance to upload new firmwares, manage our settings, set the date and time, changing the user account password, backing up our settings, and lots more. So we're going to change the time zone and click Change. And now it's time to apply our settings. As we said before, this will restart the device and we'll also connect our cables and do some testing. In this test, we're comparing the Ubiquiti Air Gateway Pro to HP MSM430. The HP MSM430 is a much more expensive unit. In this test, we're also as far from the access points as we can get in my apartment, and that signal has to travel through a thick concrete wall. As you can see, the performance between the two is almost identical. It's time to wrap things up. The performance of the Ubiquiti Air Gateway Pro is great, and so is the price. We bought our device with the power adapter for around $50. The setup is easy as long as you don't forget the infamous power adapter as it's not included in the package. And after that the setup is as simple as any consumer access point. The only real drawback is that you cannot use mix modes for 2.4 and 5 GHz bands. And if you have older devices in your household, this might cause some problems. Other Ubiquiti access points, like the Unify, will cost many times more if you want the 5 GHz capability. All things considered, we think that this is a great product for consumers who want to get a good bang for their buck. Thank you for watching, please leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe!